What if you fall into a black hole? There's this chilly feeling the phrase black hole brings when heard. It suggests nothingness, incites feelings of danger, it refers to something that could pull us in and entrap us. These cosmic bodies are a region of space and time, where gravity is so extreme that even light can't escape. So how much do you understand about the black hole? Do you think the black hole is the end of everything for whoever went into it, or is there more to it? Stay till the end as we unravel this mystery for you in this video. Welcome to our channel, where we provide you with facts related to space. Before heading on to the video, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon, so you may never miss any of our updates. Despite being black and whole, a black hole is not a dark space. Albert Einstein propounded that black holes are forged from the dense remnant cores of dead stars in his relativity theory. If the core's weight is more than about three times the mass of the sun, the force of gravity overwhelms all the other troops, and the collapse of the remnants produces a black hole. When we peek at the center of a black hole, the singularity, it gets complicated. The force at play here is so immense that science can't agree about what will happen next. Einstein's theory of general relativity says that when matter is hauled into a black hole, its information is obliterated. But quantum mechanics says that cannot happen. So this gives way to incredible theoretical hypotheses from astrophysicists and mathematicians attempting to reconcile the two theories. Black holes are objects with far greater density, and their mass amount means they have a gravitational pull that even light gets trapped, so they cannot be seen directly. This feature is why colossal radio telescopes and gravitational wave detectors are used instead of conventional telescopes. Astronomers assert that most spiral and elliptical galaxies have black holes at their centers. In 1915, Albert Einstein deduced that when objects move through space, they create waves in space-time, a concept that fuses space and time around them just like ripples pushing across the surface of a pond. Then about a century later, in 2015, he was validated correct. When researchers detected gravitational waves for the first time at Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, LIGO, this discovery was caused by two stars colliding 1.3 billion years earlier. Black holes can be located by their effect on what is around them. They suck in gas, dust, and stars, which become superheated and emit radiation that can then be seen as a heat image. In April 2019, a picture of a black hole with its shadow in the galaxy Messier 87, which was part of the Virgo galaxy cluster, was captured for the first time using the Event Horizon Telescope. This telescope is an array of eight ground-based radio telescopes, specifically designed to capture an image of a black hole. So, don't let the name fool you. A black hole isn't a hole, but a considerable amount of matter packed into a tiny space. So, think of the Sun with its gravitational field 28 times stronger than Earth. If you were to walk on the Sun, the heat isn't discussed now. You'd be 28 times heavier than Earth. Now, let's imagine squeezing four suns in something just 15 miles, 24 kilometers, in diameter, the distance you can cover in half an hour's drive. What would gravity be like? A black hole's gravity is so powerful that even light gets trapped. That is why you will never see one. But you can discover it from the gamma ray bursts that the hole emits. This burst, discovered by a theoretical physicist, Stephen Hawking, the theory was named Hawking radiation. He believed that black holes could be passages to another universe. So if you fall into one, would you be in alternate dimension? Every black hole has got an event horizon, the point at which the gravitational pull becomes so powerful that you can't escape from it, the point of no return. If you were lucky to find yourself outside that point, you'd see that stars whirl around a perfect sphere of darkness. As you start being hauled toward a black hole, you are moving faster and faster, accelerated by the force of gravity. That's the first bad news for you, space explorer, the gravitational, pull of a black hole is so strong. If you fell into it with your feet, your legs would feel a stronger gravitational pull than your head. This gravitational pull stretches your body apart. This process is called speck edification. There are three types of black holes. Stellar mass is the most minor and most common, between 1 and 100 times the mass of the sun. They form after the center of a giant star collapses, causing a supernova, the explosion of stars. The biggest known as supermassive black holes can possess masses that are millions if not billions of times the size of the Sun. And it is thought that this type of black hole reached its enormous size by merging with other black holes. Intermediate mass black holes are a third variety that falls somewhere between the two, as the name suggests. They are still a bit of a mystery, with only a few being discovered, but each is believed to have a mass of between 100 and 100,000 suns. 
If you happen to be pulled toward a stellar mass black hole, you'd be completely torn apart before you even reach the event horizon. So make sure to choose a supermassive one, but one that is a million times heavier than our Sun. In this case, your body should remain unharmed as you cross the event horizon, as gravity would pull your feet and your head with almost the same strength. And if you are wondering where to find one, you don't have to look too far. There is a supermassive one at the center of our Milky Way galaxy called Sagittarius A, believed to be about 44 million come across and contain approximately 4.31 million solar masses. It was discovered by two astronomers, Bruce Ballack and Robert Brown in 1974, but remained unnamed till 1982. Luckily, it is 165 quadrillion miles, practically 265 quadrillion come, away from us and will suck neither the sun nor the planets. But don't think you have crossed just yet? Crossing the event horizon is just the beginning of the challenge. Your journey into Sagittarius A would start after you fall over the event horizon, the point of no return. You would be able to peek out from inside, but no one would be able to see you, because any light would call back onto you. The good news is in the fact that even when the gravitational pull is much more powerful than smaller black holes, the spanning tidal force is less, meaning the gravitational pull won't turn you into spaghetti. But the bad news is you won't be able to get out. Could you? Well, your hope lies in the assumption of white holes. What's if a black hole sucks things in, then a white hole spits them out again, wherever they may be, and the two are connected via an interdimensional tunnel known as a wormhole. Although it's also hypothesized that if you wait long enough, the black hole will eventually turn into a white hole. This cycle is thought to take billions of years, but there is no reason to be disheartened. Why? Because, due to the intense gravitational force within, time will speed up for you. It would be over in milliseconds. Of course, now this is only a theory. If you want more evidence of the invisibility of swan diving into a black hole, evaluate the tidal disruption picked up in 2014 by three NASA telescopes. It was prompted by a star that had come very close to a black hole at the center of a galaxy, which was about 290 million light years away. It was distorted, stretched, and shredded as the singularity sucked it inside, while the debris of the destroyed star was tossed out in a cosmic burp. There is a gravitational singularity at the black hole's center, where density becomes infinite. You would be squashed into that center and become one with the black hole. You won't be able to tell a soul about your adventurous experience. At the event horizon, time grinds to a standstill while space, on the other hand, pushes forward. You wouldn't be able to veer around and evade the black hole any more than you can time travel back. Even when the black hole eventually expired, emitting all the particles it had engulfed, including your body, it would be difficult to tell whether those particles were you. However, Stephen Hawking found a way in which data about your body wouldn't be lost. He deduced that there are alternate universes with different histories, which means you fell into a black hole in one reality. In the second one, there simply was no black hole at all. It is impossible to be sure outside of the event horizon, whether there is or there isn't a black hole until you fall in there. If you cross the event horizon, the point of no return, and there was a black hole. Sorry, that's the end adventure. But if you happen to be in a reality where the black hole didn't occur, you'd still be alive. But in a different universe, there would be no way to return to ours. Thanks for watching this video. Do tell us your views in the comments box. For more educational videos like this, do well to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future updates. See you in the next video. Bye.